What's up everybody? This is Action Figure Grader coming back to you with an unboxing video and it's going to be a massive one so this video is going to be pretty long. I want to start by saying thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you like this video be sure to like and subscribe for future content. We've got 34 items back from Collector Archive Services and we are going to dig right in. I want you all to keep in mind as you're looking at these awesome items that this is about eight months worth of collecting and, and multiple multiple orders from Collector Archive. I did not send all these at once but uh, big shout out first to Bounty Hunters Guild on eBay. I'll put a link to their eBay store in the description. He sent me this beautiful spe special action figure set the 501st Legion Art Troopers and uh, Josh over there at Bounty Hunters Guild Picked out a super mint one. It came back with a 95 score. And I apologize for the glare here. It's just this is the only area where I can film this. But uh, it got a 95 score for this really expensive, very difficult to find in clean condition Art Trooper 3 pack. And uh, it has since about doubled in price. Josh offered it to me for a great price. And I gave him 30% more just because I felt so. I felt so bad about him picking out a super mint one for me. So thank you so much to Bounty Hunters Guild for that one. That is gorgeous. There's no way I'm going to be able, be able to keep everything on screen. So there's going to be a lot of quick movements here. Um, I did get a 32 back Yoda also. And unfortunately, the footer during shipping came up in front of Yoda. So I'm kind of bummed about that. But maybe I can play with him and get that footer back down. But uh it's, it's okay. It is what it is. There's not really much I could have done about it. But it is an unpunched, beautiful 32-back ESB Yoda. He came back with an 80, a card 80, blister 85, figure 85. So really nice example. It's a real shame about that footer coming up, but maybe I can tap it back in at some point. But, uh, but really nice. I'm going to do better. I've already got, I think, 11 videos planned for uh, a lot of the items in here. So... If I'm rushing through them, please know that uh, I'm going to have much more detailed unboxings uh, or much more detailed information on these. This one is, unfortunately, the worst of the bunch. I'm not sure what happened, but this uh, blister, I think, pulled pulled away from the card, uh, card bag. This is the Credit Collection Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. He came back with a 70-plus because the blister, I think, pulled away during shipping. The card got a 90, the blister a 70, and the figure a 95. So 70 plus, unfortunately. So I'm not sure exactly what happened. We'll take a closer look in another video when I show off all these without the poly bags. This one I will give away on my channel. There's somebody out there that doesn't mind the 70 plus score. It is a card 90 and a figure 95 score. So it's, it's a really nice item. It's just something happened in shipping. I've already got a new one at Collector Archive right now. So hopefully that comes back higher. But uh, but it looks awesome in, in the acrylic case. So this one will be a giveaway on my channel at some point. I promise to give that away at some point. Um, let's go ahead and knock out the other credit collection items it, that came in this batch. This is the IG-11 credit collection. And this one came back with a 90 plus. Uh, this is probably my favorite of all the credit collection items. But uh, what an awesome figure. 90 plus for the IG-11. And next we got the Mandalorian. This is the Amazon exclusive Mandalorian. He came back with a 95. Wow, what a score. I think, I'm not positive, I think that Bounty Hunters Guild also got me this one. So big shout out to those guys for giving me such mint examples. What an awesome item. 95 score. I'm going to do a video just on the credit collection items. Now we got last credit collection is Cara Dune. Uh, I'm not going to get into her politics. I'm not going to get into the whole backstory with Cardoon. This one I found at Target. This was in the back at Target, and I flirted my way to two mint examples, and this one came back with a 90 plus. So, really like these credit collection figures. They're such, such awesome items. So that's those. Um, let's dig into the vintage collection next. Uh, this is the 41st Elite Core Clone Trooper. This is an online exclusive. Really nice, and he came back with a 90. I think I found this one on eBay for slightly above retail, so that was a good a good pickup there. Um, we're going to run out of room very quickly here, but uh, I'm trying to keep it as focused as I can. This was a Big Bad Toy Store pickup, the, cre the uh, collector grade Big Bad Toy Store VC-47 reissue of General Lando Calrissian. 
and he came back with a 95. I think I've got, I think I got 10 95 grade items in this batch. So it was just an awesome, awesome pile of loot. Um, next is another Big Bad Toy Store uh, collector grade. This is the Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight. He also came back with a 95. So I'm, I'm kind of done with Dorkside. I'm sorry. Between their logistics issues and not fulfilling orders quickly, Big Bad Toy Store for life for me, I think. Uh, this is an awesome one. This is the one autographed item in this batch. This is autographed by Sam Witwer, who played, the, who had the lightness and the voice for Starkiller uh, in the Force Unleashed video game. And so this is VC100 Starkiller, Vader's Apprentice, autographed by Sam Witwer. I picked this up on eBay, and this is a 90 grade. So, and you can see there, it's been, it's got the signature series. 90 grade Star Killer. What an awesome item that is. Uh, next, we have the Amazon exclusive Armory Pack Sith Trooper. And this one uh, graded a 90. Really nice. I think I've got all the Sith Troopers now graded. Um, next is Hondo Onaka. And this was also part of that same wave with Luke Jedi. He came back with a 90. It's a nice card back. I like, I like that likeness on the card back. Um, and then we got another Mandalorian. This is the original issue Mandalorian. I had two. This one came back with a 95, another big bad toy store collector grade item. I mean, they, they just, they, they, they spit out the 95s for you and it's only $2 more for, uh, for the collector grade. So it's a way to go if you want high grade vintage collection or black series. I mean, I've just, I've never hardly ever gone, gotten any bad, uh, bad scores with them. This was an eBay pickup. This is the foil Ultimate Galactic Hunt Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader with the free Boba Fett offer. Uh, this one scored a 90, 90, 90, 95. I love having these foil cards, and obviously I'm a huge Vader fan, so I could not go wrong with that one. Um, trying to get all these in here. Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spread these out a little bit so we have a little more room. Uh, and then let's see. This is Sherrod Imway, part of that same wave, and he came back with a 90 also. Probably one of the better sculpts for the recent vintage collection, and, and those accessories are just awesome. So, Sherrod Imway, 90. Um, all right, next we got a few 40th anniversary. I know these came from, I know these came from uh, Bounty Hunters Guild, so thank you, Bounty Hunters Guild, for these. I finally got them graded. This is the... Imperial Snow Trooper, he came back with a 90. And that's an awesome looking card back and figure there. And we got Boba Fett. Boba Fett in that same wave. Uh, thank you again so much for these awesome items. Bounty Hunters Guild. And he came back with a 90 also. Just just amazing. I'm sorry about the poly bags, but again, I'll, I'll take a lot of these out and, and show them properly in, a, in, a, in another video. But just in the... For the sake of time, I thought it would be be better just to, to do the unboxing. Uh, this is a 90-grade Luke Skywalker Dagobah. And uh, definitely a great-looking figure there. Awesome card back. So thank you again to Bounty Hunters Guild for those. I mean, I've still got a lot to go through here. Let's see. Let's do some vintage. Uh, this is a 65-back. I, I believe it's a B-back. Yeah, 65-back B. He came back with an 80 Death Star droid. I got this one in an eBay auction, and he is beautiful. So I've got two Death Star droids now. Just awesome. Vintage, you can't go wrong with Vintage Kenner, so I've definitely got a few of those. Next, we got another big boy. I added blister protection for this one. This is a Palatoy Tri-Logo Unpunched Yoda. I added the blister support for that. He's got the brown snake, and he came back with an 80, 85, 80, 85. So just an amazing item. Thank you to Lars over in Germany for selling this to me and shipping it. Bomb-proofed. It is gorgeous. So I've got two mint-on-card vintage Yodas in this batch. I mean, look how great they look together. And then the other Yoda item is this one. This is the Yoda hand puppet, still mint in sealed box. And I found this on eBay. It was ridiculously cheap from Canada. I think I got it for $135 uh, shipped, still mint and sealed box, and it came back with an 80 plus. Uh, let's see if we can get a better zoom here. 
1980 Kenner Star Wars Yoda hand puppet, 80 plus. So I added three vintage Yoda items in, in this unboxing. And I've already got the, uh, I've already got the Sakuda import sticker Yoda. And now I've got the Palatoy and then the 32 back. Uh, the next one is a Han Solo trench coat. Um, and this I believe is a 77 A back. And he came back with an 85, 85, 85, 80. The 80 is because of the weapon falling out uh, off of this, off of the tape inside the blister. It is yellowed. This, this was a combination purchase with the 32 back Yoda. So it was kind of a throw in and uh, he, he came back with a great score. So really nice. The last vintage item in this unboxing is this one. I added blister support for this. This is a vintage miscard of the regular CLA 2 on the CLA 2 skiff guard card back. And this is a Palatoy Tri logo. You can see some litho damage up there, which brought the score down. Uh, but it's a 70 plus. The card got a 70. The blister got an 80. The figure score is an 85. But because of all the litho damage, the max you could get was a 70 plus. But I did go ahead and add the blister support. I don't want that one falling off the card given that it's a vintage miss card. So I, I love factory errors and it's kind of cool to add one and it was not very expensive. Thank you to Matt Hall, by the way, for the great deal on that one. Um, okay, we got some pre-production items. This is a SDCC, I believe 2010 proof card. This is a pre-production proof card for Boba Fett on the vintage collection card back. And he came back with a 90, 90 score VC09. So these were, I think these were given out or sold at SDCC in 2010. So it's kind of cool to have a, um, to have a proof card there. Really nice. I've got five others, believe it or not, in this batch. Um, the next one is uh, a Han Solo Echo Base outfit proof card, unpunched. And this one came back with a 95. This seller on eBay had a bunch of these and I just bought them all. And uh, they were just in amazing condition. So really cool. And uh, this is a 30th anniversary. These were given out. These are proof cards, I think, that were either given out or sold at the 2007 Star Wars Celebration, Celebration 7. And this is the 30th anniversary collection proof card for Luke Skywalker. And he came back with, where is the sticker on it? There it is. He came back with a 95 also. So really high grade, really, really awesome high grade um, proof cards. And then the other 30th anniversary from the same seller was this Imperial Stormtrooper. And he came back with a 90 plus. So uh, some really, it's really cool to add some modern pre-production to my collection. And then the last two, this is a Luke Skywalker Bespin Fatigues proof card. And this was also 2010 and he came back with a 90 plus. Amazing, amazing item. And then the last one, this is the highest graded item I have ever received from any grader. This is a pre-production proof card for Darth Vader on the uh, Vintage Collection card back 2010. He came back with a 95 plus and it came back with a 98.8. .8. So it's only 1.2 points away from a perfect score. So this will probably, I will never be able to repeat this to get a 95 plus. It's just really, really difficult to get that high of a score. And uh, it's awesome that it's on a Vader. I um, mean, you know, Vader's my favorite. And um, this seller gave me a great deal on him. He gave me a deal on all, all four or five of those that I bought from him. So amazing, 95 plus, 95 plus. Okay, we're almost done. I went pretty quick with this video, but I've got a few others, a few other vintage collection, and then we'll wrap it up. This is the VC161 Jawa. He came back with a 90. This, I believe, was Dorkside Toys. So they, they do have, if they got it in stock and they, they do ship quickly, uh, their collector grade is, is high grade. But it's, the issue I've had with them is that they just don't, they don't get their pre-orders done quickly enough. This was another Dorkside item. This is the Gamorrean Guard reissue, TBC. He came back with a 95. So uh, thank you to Dorkside for that one, high grade. And then we got... Uh, Clone Trooper, Art Trooper 5s. This was part of the Jedi, Luke Jedi wave. He came back with a 95. So incredible, incredible scores in this batch. 
And, uh, well, it's, it's multiple batches. This is the Princess Leia Organa Yavin. This is the error card. I already had the, the, the regular one, but this is labeled VC-164, which is, of course, supposed, supposed to be Cardoon. So this is the error card before they fixed it. And I've also got the correct one also, but this is a 90. I'll do a video showing the differences, but uh, you can see here it's VC-164. That's really supposed to be Cardoon. So they fixed that very quickly but some of them did make it out into distribution publicly. So I picked one of these up just to have it to match my corrected version. I can't remember her real numbers, like 150 or 155. Last one, believe it or not, we, we, we plowed through it. This is the Walmart exclusive Mimbin Stormtrooper from Solo. He's got the Walmart exclusive sticker and this one came back with a 90. So just an epic, epic batch from uh, the graders at Collector Archive, thank you to Collector Archive. I wish that you had sent me some of those really nice cardboard boxes that you send some customers. I didn't get any in this batch, so not sure what that's about, but uh, typically they, they ship them in like a nice cardboard box that has their logo on it and um, has like kind of some foam protection for storage, but I, I, none of mine had that, so... Not sure why that happened, but that's what happened. So, uh, but overall, a great unboxing. I'm really, really happy with everything. They did great work on the labels and uh, they were able to combine a bunch of different orders to save me some money on shipping. So props to them for that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe for future content. I've got a bunch of other stuff still at the graders and they will be back, uh, you know, I would think within the next few weeks. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.